Hello and thanks for joining me. For today's video, I'll be showing you how I achieved this makeup look. So if you want to see how I did that, stick around and let's get started. So to start off, I'm going to prime my eyelids. This is an important step, at least for me, because I have very oily eyelids and this helps my eyeshadow stay on longer. So you basically take any type of concealer that you have or even eyeshadow primer they sell those as well so whichever one you have so set that in you don't need a lot just a little goes a long way and then I'm going to take some translucent powder in this case I use this rice powder which is translucent powder and just tap some of that um, powder onto my eyelids this is what helps maintain my eyelids not so oily and also like I mentioned have that eyeshadow look stay on longer now that the eyes are primed, we can get started with the eyeshadow look. So the tape helps me guide myself because not only that guide myself, but also since I'm wanting to achieve that sharp look, the tape helps me achieve that look. So you can use any type of tape. I'm using this um, eyeshadow tape to help me get that straight, sharp look. For the first eyeshadow, we're taking a fluffy brush that I didn't show you the color, but I'm actually using my bronzer, my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze. It's one of my favorite bronzers and transition shades. So you can technically use any bronzer that you have, any light tan color that you want, but um, adding a transition color is going to help bring all your colors together. So here, all that I'm doing is holding my brush towards the end of it and then lightly taking uh, that color and just going all over the eyelid. Don't bring it too high, but not too low either. So once I've achieved that, I can move on to the next color, which I'm using the Shade and Light uh, palette, which I don't even know if they still make this eyeshadow palette, but it's probably expired for all I know, but I can't seem to let it go. I just love those um, brown colors. So I took the first eyeshadow of the palette with a different brush that has shorter bristles and tighter. I'm taking that color and starting from the outer edge, moving myself in towards the middle. So I want to go heavier on the corner and then whatever I have left over of that eyeshadow, I'm blending it in towards the middle, not all the way to the inner corner. And then you just work that color as heavy as you want it on the corner and then again move it in towards the middle. It might seem like I'm going very like heavy with my hand, but you don't want to do that. It just looks like this here on the video because of the fast paced editing that I did for the video. But what you do want to do to help you achieve that um, heavier look, at least darker look in the corner, is holding your brush towards the middle, not the end towards the middle that helps with the color that you're trying to achieve without having to really go hard with your hand or heavy as I like to call it. Then we're going to take that uh, first brush with no additional bronzer or product. We just simply take what was left on it and blend those two colors together as best as we can so that it looks cleaner and we'll go back and do it again later. Now taking the same eyeshadow palette using the second color, which is a darker brown and a brush with even shorter bristles, I'm going to take the color and create that illusion of an eyeliner, also known as La Linea. So I'm just taking that color and again, bringing it in and out. So this time I'm not bringing it in towards the inner corner. It's more towards bringing it out towards the outer corner. That makes sense, right? You, you, you're following. But uh, just uh, continue working that color uh, until you achieve the darkness that you want and blend, blend, blend. Using the right eyeshadow brush will make a huge difference. So make sure that you're using the right tools and then we can move on to the next color which is from the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss and I'm using the Glitz and Glam color and then my finger as my brush. 
So obviously you can use a flat brush for this part, but I'm using my finger. It just works best for those type of um, eyeshadow colors. And I'm just taking it in the middle of my eyelid until I achieve the what I'm looking for. So the next part is taking that same brush that you use for the illusion of that um, eyeliner or the wing and without any additional product I'm just going in to clean it up and making sure that the eyeshadow that I put on the middle of my eyelids blends together. Now here it's a little confusing because I don't even know why I did this or why I used a different brush again to with another eyeshadow color from the same shade light palette I actually used a darker brown because I wanted that brown eyeliner illusion to stand out more but I'm not sure why I used a different eyeshadow brush so you could actually use the same one that you used the first time there's no need for another one but as you can see now it looks darker and um now I went back to the little one and try to blend in the colors together so it makes no sense but it came out but if I were to do it again, I would um, obviously stick to the same one. Now going in with my first initial brush with no additional product, I'm blending in the colors. Not necessarily going all the way into the um, bottom of my eye, but at least the top. Taking one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, Huda Beauty, and taking the shade Libra with a new brush that has even shorter bristles and tighter. With that color, I'm going to take it in the inner corner of my eye. Make sure that you don't go all the way to the middle of your eyelid. We're just keeping it in the inner corner. But also note to be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to bring it close towards your nose. Because if you do that, then it gives you the illusion like you have a big bruise. So we want to be careful with that. Then I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss um, shadow again, or eyeshadow palette, using that gem color, which is a beautiful dark purple. And using the same brush, I'm just going over the first color to blend them in together. So Libra and gem together until I get that perfect shade that I'm looking for. But again, just be careful that you don't bring it too close to your nose because then it'll look like you have a big bruise. I love doing this part, which is removing the tape so that you can see that sharp line that I was going for. And of course it looks messy because there's a lot of fallout from those dark eyeshadows. Um, so what I'll do is just take a makeup wipe and clean up any excess fallout. As you can see, I also don't have any foundation or anything on my face because I knew this would happen. So that's why I always start with my eyes. I see a lot of girls and guys do their makeup foundation first and then at the end their eyeshadows, but I just can't seem to figure it out myself. It's just more helpful to me to just get my eyes done first and then do the rest of my face. So just clean up any excess fallout and then we can get started with the face, the foundation, and all of that, and then complete the um, eyeshadow look. For this video, I'm not going to actually show you how I do the rest of my face because I've done it in the past, so if you want to see how I do step by step of my whole entire face, you can check out my other videos, but here I'll just include some clips of me trying to snatch my face. finish off my eyes taking a flat brush and a eyeshadow from the Huda Beauty palette which is called Momentum which is a very like nudie almost close to my 
skin color um, shadow and just putting that on the top of my eyeshadow look so closer to my eyebrow so it's like a highlighting point and then as you can see I took my first initial brush and just blend those colors in together then I'm taking this very short bristle um, eyeshadow brush and taking some of that Huda Beauty Libra purple light purple color and adding it to the waterline or the bottom as you can see I'm just achieving how dark I want that purple to look because after that I'm taking some brown that first eyeshadow brown from the shade and light palette and going over that um, purple but you want to bring it as high as you can so that you don't actually block the entire purple that you added so it just gives you the illusion of a smoky eye and then I'm just curling my baby eyelashes they're actually growing which I'm happy but I'm curling them so that I can get my lashes on so I'm using my ultimate favorite lashes my go-to lashes are the wispy lashes and then my 99 cent glue which is my favorite and just adding those eyelashes which is going to make make the look stand out even more or you can omit the eyelashes and just take some nice black mascara and call it a day I like both ways I actually after I was done filming I took the eyelashes off because I was really gonna do anything and just added some mascara and it looked really nice so it depends what kind of look you're going for if you want to be very dramatic or not but either or I loved it I was going to take some brown eyeliner for my waterline but I found my LA girl shockwave neon eyeliner called vivid and I just thought might as well just use this purple eyeliner and um, again if you want to be more dramatic then I would go for a darker eyeliner and then I used some beads that I've had for a while that I've been wanting to use and took my 99 cent glue and some tweezers and um, took some of that glue added to my hand let it get a little tacky which this um, glue what I like about it it gets tacky really fast and then using my tweezers, I took one of those small beads, or pearls, they're actually pearls, and then added some of the glue and took the little, 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 little <laughs> pearl onto the inner corner of my eye. And I think that made the look even stand out more. Again, you can omit this if you're going out at night. I think it looks really nice. Maybe not for a day look, but to each his own. Um, I took them off after <laughs> I finished recording because, again, I wasn't going anywhere. But if I was going out somewhere, I would have kept them. I think they're super nice. And you can even add them to the outer corner of that um, line or that eye eyeliner illusion that we made. And I think it would even make it stand out more and look very nice. So here I'm just trying to make sure that they align. One of them was higher than the other one, so I was just moving them around, but I really like how they look. To finish off the look, I'm just taking my favorite mascara, which is the Lash Paradise Mascara, adding that to my bottom lashes as well as to the falsies, um, because it helps my natural lashes come together with the falsies, and it looks more like I was born with those beautiful lashes. But you don't have to do that. I just like to do that at the end. And then after that, we are done. And this is the final look. What do you guys think? I really like it because it's very like subtle look. But yet very like wow because of that purple. It can go from day to night. So I really enjoyed doing this look for you guys. Let me know what you think. You could do this with your own eyeshadow palettes. It doesn't have to be the ones that I used. Just find those colors that suit you or that you like that your eyeshadows have and just recreate this with different colors or the same ones but anyways hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification button so that you're notified when my next video will be up once again thank you and until next time bye